welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do my updated Marley Twist video. You guys just had so many questions. So of course I had to get on camera and answer them for you guys. I've combed through all the comments under the videos and I just picked out those frequently asked questions. So hopefully at the end of this video you guys won't have any more questions. I'm confident you won't. I'm also going to show you guys how I do the back of my hair, the crown, my edges, how I part it, all that great stuff. So you're getting an update video plus a tutorial which is awesome. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So first things first, let's talk about the hair. So here's the pack of Marley hair that I'm going to be using. I purchased it from my beauty supply store for $4.99 a pack. Now the brand is called Vanessa and the type of hair or texture is Marley Braid. Now the brand doesn't really matter, all that matters is that it says Marley Braid. I'm sure there is some type of hierarchy when it comes to quality of hair, you know, for the brands, but this is the only brand that I've used so I wouldn't know about any other brand and this is actually really good and actually quite exclusive because they don't really sell it, you know, uh, at too many beauty supply stores. I've searched a bunch around my area and only found it at one. Um, and also online, I looked online, I couldn't really find it. I found one website, but it ended up being sold out. I did find an eBay seller that is also selling it for $4.99, so I'll leave a link in the description box to where you guys can purchase that if you want. Um, the color that I got is one, which is a jet black. If you're looking for more of a natural black or a dark brown, you want to go with a 1B. I used a 1B the last time I put Marley Twist in my hair, but I didn't really like the color. It was like a dusty brown. Uh, the black, the jet black really, really pops. So, so how many packs of hair do I use? Uh, previously, I was using five. Since then, I've added an additional pack, so now I'm using six. I just wanted it to be a little thicker, um, just my bun a little thicker, so I just added that additional pack. And with five, that actually was kind of pushing it too because I was borrowing, you know, pieces from the back just so I can, you know, finish twists up here. So with six, it's perfect. I have the perfect density and everything works out great. Uh, so also keep that in mind as far as adding an additional pack. Um, I've calculated that you get about eight twists per pack if you're using three strands of Marley hair. Keep in mind if you're using two, obviously you're going to get more um, twists per pack, but your, your sections are also going to be a lot smaller. So if mm -hmm. I, somebody asked if you can use Canicola on here instead of Marley hair, um, you can, but they won't be Marley twists anymore, they'll be Senegalese twists, so keep that in mind. So I washed my hair about a week ago, um, it's in a stretch like braid out, I guess that's what it was, but then I just combed it out, just detangled it so it's a lot easier once I start twisting, I don't have to detangle between twists, I can just bounce from twist to twist. Um, really seamlessly without having to stop and comb and all that kind of stuff. So I do recommend you, so I definitely recommend washing your hair prior to putting the twist in. How soon, doesn't really matter. I just don't like washing my hair immediately before um, I put twist or protect the style in just because all that tension from, you know, the washing and all that kind of stuff then you're going to further manipulate it, you know, by putting twist in. So I like to leave a little break, maybe like a couple of days between uh, washing before I put, you know, my Marley twist in. Um, so you don't have to blow dry your hair, it's completely up to you. If you prefer blow dry it before you twist, that's your thing, but I don't do it because I just think that extra heat is just really unnecessary. Um, but if you can't get your hair like really stretched without a blow dryer, then you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, first things first, switching over to a voiceover really quickly. I like to section my hair off into four sections just because it's a lot easier to work in sections. So you want to slightly jag it, and I do not comb out the Marley hair before I do a twist. I just leave it as is. So I usually start in the back of my hair. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So I don't use any combs or anything for the back of my hair. Once I get to the front, 
I do want it to be a little bit neater, so I'll do like a really, you know, defined part here and a defined part on the side because I want that option to where, you know, with a center part or a side part. And also I want my edges to be really, you know, neat as well. So that's the only area that I use part, I mean use combs and neat parts is in the front. In the back, I just basically just pull sections with my finger. Um, so this is about how big of a section. You can see. If you guys watched my previous video, you know that this process is extremely simple. I don't do the invisible root method just because I just couldn't get the hang of it. So instead, I braid my hair with the Marley hair about four or five times or until my hair is right back in the center. Then I'm going to split my hair into two pieces, take a clip, clamp down my roots because you don't want that pulling and that tension on your roots. Then I'm going to begin twisting my hair around the Marley hair as I twist down because you don't want your hair sticking out of the twist. Be sure to add gels or creams or whatever you choose to your hair just to make sure that it's smooth all the way down. Once I completed the back of my hair, it's time for the front. It took me about two hours to do the back. The front is where I really try to concentrate on being neat as far as the parts go. So I start by making a really neat part in the center. And then I follow up with making a really neat part on the side because I like to interchange between front parts and side parts. Um, keep in mind, you don't have to necessarily do this. Just, you know, make parts where you normally would like to wear your hair so a lot of people wear it on the center and then if the side part doesn't really matter to you then you can just leave it as is so like i said in the front of my hair i'm really concentrating on making really neat parts especially along my um hairline so my edges you want to make sure that they're equal for the most part and that they're neat
while I'm waiting for the water to finish boiling so I can dip my ends, I'm going to take this time to answer some additional questions. So speaking of ends, um, a lot of you have been asking, uh, do you burn the ends or can you burn the ends? You can, but not me. <laughs> no flames come anywhere near my hair. Absolutely not. Like I do not want a Michael Jackson moment on me. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> all right so um another question that you guys have been asking is the length of the hair now i don't know the length of it but i have my measuring tape here and we're going to measure it in inches so i'm just going to take a random piece over here and down and it's about 20 inches give or take um, you can definitely make it a tad bit longer if you stagger the ends, but you don't want to stagger them too much because it'll get really straggly. So I say the maximum inches you could get with this hair is probably 22 inches. So one of the biggest questions I've been getting is can you wash your hair with the Marley Twist in? You absolutely can. I haven't yet. I'm actually going on vacation this week, so I'll be in salt water and chlorine and stuff. So I'll definitely let you guys know in the comments if it's safe to do. But you definitely can. I wouldn't suggest completely drenching your whole entire head in water unless you're trying to get out the chlorine or salt water. If you just need to cleanse your scalp, I would suggest put you know shampoo and some water in a spray bottle. Spray your scalp with that and to rinse, just refill that spray bottle with only water I'm mean, gonna repeat if needed with you know conditioner or whatever um, like even if you wash your hair and you know some twists slip out we did it ourselves so we can always go back and retwist those that have slipped or have loosened in any way so that's the beauty of doing your own hair you don't have to rely on anybody else <laughs> uh, let's talk about edges so I redo my edges which is the hairline right here every single week because these get really fuzzy and it really starts to get cakey and flaky and that is not cute around your edges um, because of the gels you're using and you know the moisture from your scalp and the oils and that your makeup is getting in there as well so you want to make sure you're doing your edges every week um, and also when you're removing your makeup at night you want to bring it up to your, your scalp because a lot of the time we forget that and that you know would eliminate a lot of those cakeys that um, happen on your scalp from your makeup and stuff uh, as far as the gels that I use on my edges, there's nothing fancy. I use Eco Styler Gel and a toothbrush to just shape my edges. And then I go back with a harder gel like the Blueberry Control Paste or the Edge Control by Olive Oil. And I just, you know, add that on top of it just to, you know, mold it really well. Mm -hmm. So how long should you keep them in is another good question. Uh, I wouldn't recommend keeping them in any longer than a month. Just because after a month, that protective style doesn't really protect anymore. Your hair really starts to stick out of the twist. Um, it gets really fuzzy and you really need to wash your hair like really in deep condition at that point. So no longer than a month. So another question I've been getting is can short hair do this style? Absolutely. I actually think this style looks better on short hair just because you know you're not your hair is not sticking up like down here. Um, so it looks a lot neater with short hair. Um, also can relaxed hair or straight hair do this? Absolutely. You might have issues, if your hair is like really fine and straight, you might have issues with it slipping. So you might have to use a uh, braiding hair that's closer to your hair texture, like, you know, Kanikalon or something like that. But you can definitely do that. You just have to tweak a few products and stuff that you use. And also, if you guys are noticing that um, you're not getting as tight as you would like it, Part of the reason is practice. You just have to practice. And even back here, like I'm not getting it as tight because like my arm is here and it's hard, but you know, nothing's perfect. So don't beat yourself up about it, but just practice. And if you're noticing that, you know, it's still not working, it's probably because you're putting products on your root and it's slipping that way. Um, so if you're noticing that, don't put any uh, products on your root. Just, you know, run it down the hair shaft and just leave your root completely clean. I did notice that once I stopped putting uh, product on my root it was a lot tighter so keep that in mind when you're doing these twists as far as the itchy scalp goes I'm actually currently working on a DIY protective style spray so stay tuned for that but you can always uh, grease your scalp with coconut oil it does act as an anti-itch and it's awesome uh, can you reuse the hair I personally don't reuse the hair because I like to cut the ends of the hair um, when I take them out just it, it's a lot faster because once these have been dipped and you know a few weeks have gone by it's like a dread and trying to get this out is like a lot of work so I just cut and then be done with it and then buy you know more packs when I want to do it over but you can definitely reuse it if you want just you know wash it with a mild shampoo or conditioner let it hang dry and then reuse it 
um, how do I protect my hair in the shower? You guys see my nighttime routine. Pretty much all I do is just put my hair in a bun, put a scarf over my edges, and then tie a plastic grocery bag over my hair. Hop in the shower, good to go. So it took me about four and a half hours to do it. I pretty much estimate it takes an hour per section. So I had four sections. And then, you know, when I take breaks and I go on Snapchat and I go fool and stuff. So yeah, four and a half hours it took me to do this. Um, so you guys have been asking how many twists do I have in my hair? So I calculated that you get about eight twists per pack. I use six packs, so six times eight is 48. So I have about 48 twists in my hair, give or take. So I pretty much use a pack and a half for each section. So that's a good guide, it's just a pack and a half. So a pack and a half is about 12 twists per section. So just keep that in mind when you're uh, twisting your hair. Are they heavy? Absolutely not. They're like so lightweight. Girl, like, get your life. <laughs> Even when I put it in a bun, it's just like, it's, it's cool, it's not too heavy, it's not like, you know, putting too much tension on my neck, but you do have to watch out for low doorways, because I done almost fell backwards walking through something that was low, forgetting I had a bun, <laughs> almost died. I've answered all your questions. If you so happen to have any more questions, please leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. So until next time, peace and do this. Mm -hmm. Well, you tell that bitch, whoever she is, when I catch her, I'ma be that ass.